chair now recognizes the gentleman from Kansas, Mr. LaTurner, for five minutes. Thank you, Madam Chairwoman. Thank you, Mr. Secretary, for being here today. Secretary Mayorkas, in April, you said, quote, our message has been clear that the border is, in fact, not open. According to public data from the U.S. Customs and Border Protection, which you yourself oversee, we had 227,000 migrant encounters at the southwest border in September of this year alone, bringing the yearly total to almost 2.4 million, which is the highest number ever recorded. Do you believe that indicates a border that is not open? Uh, Congressman, uh, thanks for your question. Uh, please, um, it's very important that the American people understand that the individuals whom we encounter uh, who are not uh, expelled under the Public Health Authority of Title 42 are placed in immigration enforcement proceedings and are subject to removal if they do not qualify for the relief that the laws of this country provide them. Respectfully, I do not Mr. Think, Secretary, if I may. I, I, no, hang on. I have a limited amount of time and several questions. If you just give me a quick answer, I would really appreciate it. Sure. Uh, among those nearly 2.4 million encounters, we had 98 non-U.S. citizens listed on the terrorist watch list who were caught trying to enter the homeland between ports of entry. This is approximately five times the number of terrorist encounters from the last five years combined. Do you believe this indicates a border that is not open? What this indicates, uh, Congressman, is the fact that we have extraordinary personnel in the United States Border Patrol risking their lives every day to apprehend individuals um, at, at the border. And Mr. we Mr. Work Secretary, in, in fis you're not gonna answer the question. In fiscal year 2022, we had an estimated 600,000 gotaways. Do you believe this indicates a border that is not open? Um, uh, Congressman, I, I would um, respectfully posit that I don't think that the 1.4 million people who were either removed or expelled um, Mr. Secretary, from the country would please. consider the border open. I'm going to take back my time. Uh, in May, Kansas City law enforcement seized more than 15,000 counterfeit fentanyl pills. This fiscal year alone, CBP has seized enough fentanyl to kill almost 2.9 billion people, over eight times the entire population of the U.S. Do you believe this indicates a border that is not open? Uh, Congressman, do you realize that the uh, majority of the fentanyl that is sought to be smuggled into the United States comes through the ports of entry, and our interdiction efforts have been more successful than ever before? I should note, Mr. Secretary, that in my year home state, over year excuse me, Mr. Secretary, you've done this all day. When you don't like a question, you filibuster. In my home state of Kansas, the state health department saw a 54 percent increase in drug overdoses in the first half of 2021, nearly half of which were caused by fentanyl, primarily supplied by the cartels. Nationwide, the CDC reported that over 107,000 Americans died of drug overdoses in 2021, with 66% of those related to synthetic opioids like fentanyl. 300 Americans a day are dying from fentanyl. It's the equivalent of an airliner going down every day. Do you think this indicates a border that is not open? Congressman, the, the fight against the scourge of fentanyl and the devastation that is, it is wreaking is a years-long fight that we in the United States government with our state and local partners have been fighting. Do you realize that the number of deaths from the number of overdose deaths from fentanyl has been increasing year over year since at least 2018? Certainly, this is not a new phenomenon. Mr. It Secretary, is, it is you not clearly, a new tragedy. Mr. Secretary, you clearly don't understand the problem. I clearly this do. Has, excuse me. This has nothing to do with politics. This is about kids across the country dying every single day from fentanyl overdoses because people in Washington can't get their act together. This is about an overwhelmed border patrol. This is about migrants being victimized by the drug cartels. I, my concern and the concern of my constituents back home is how can you begin to solve the problem if you don't even acknowledge the depth and breadth of it? Here's a, a question for you. I have you had discussions, excuse you. me, Mr. Secretary, have you had discussions with the president or anyone in the Biden administration about stepping down from your current role? I have not. Not, not a conversation with anyone in the administration. Congressman, let me be very clear. Yes or no? May I answer your no, question? No, you, yes or no? Have you had that conversation with anyone in the administration? I am very proud of what we have accomplished. I'm very committed Sir, to accomplishing Answer more. the question. Have you had a conversation with anyone in the administration about stepping down from your current role? I have not. I hope, for the sake of the safety of the American people, that that conversation happens very soon. I yield back my time. 
Um, the Madam, Madam Acting. The gentleman uh, yields back. Mr. Secretary, you may respond. If you Madam want. Acting Chair, uh, uh, thank you very much for the opportunity. Uh, Congressman, I look forward uh, to sharing information with you so that you understand the threat that fentanyl poses uh, and how it is um, smuggled into the country. Everything that we are doing to fight the transnational criminal organizations across the federal enterprise with our partners to the south and to disabuse you of uh, misunderstandings that you have with respect to the fentanyl crisis because they are grave and I look forward to not only sharing information with you, but hopefully sharing information with the American public. Thank I recognize you. myself 